Welcome back to Let's Play I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream and today we are going through Benny's scenario. Now just a quick bit of backstory about Benny again. He's been terribly mutated by Am uh, in the book. He has basically lost his mind. Am's turned him crazy. Turned him into some kind of chimp-like creature. Okay, so let's go and see what Am has in store for Benny. Benny! giving you now a chance to stoop to new lows, to give in to your bestial desires. I'm going to let you find some food to eat. I'll even repair your brain so that you can think normally again and savor the horror of your repast. This cavern isn't like any of the others Am has sent me to. It's full of life, not death. Okay, so before we start, just a bit of a key difference. You can see that um, Am just said that he has restored Benny's uh, brain. Because in the book, he's he's basically he's pretty much turned him into a chimpanzee. Um, he, he can't think much, he can barely talk. In this one, he can't talk at all because he doesn't have vocal cords and remove them. And he actually has all of his cognitive ability. So he's, he's just the same person he was before, He's but he is still hideously mutated, as you can see. And he's put you up on these stairs. Alright, so we can go up or down, but it doesn't matter. Am, you son of a bitch! You've cleared my mind, but crippled my legs. I can barely walk! Okay, so already you know that he can, um, he can barely walk. Um, his legs are pretty much useless. He's not, he's not in a good shape at all. Okay. So let's give this a look away. Look, have a walk around, see what this we have. This graveyard gives me the creeps. I feel as though the dead could speak. Okay, so can the dead speak? Are the other graves as deathly silent as this one? Doesn't look like it. We'll have a look at him. Thomas is buried here. I'd almost forgotten my life in the army before Am came to power. So again, just a reminder that he was a um, army scientist. This is Tuttle's grave. He lost his life while under my command. This is the grave of Murphy, one of my old commandos, killed in the war. Okay, so as you can see, Benny was obviously in charge of these three in the military. Um, now there's nothing we really can do here. But if we do look at it... Why is this fence here? What's out there in the jungle? Maybe something to eat. Now, Benny is... he's been given his task by Am. He's been said that he can go and eat. There's things he can eat. and. Again, this is a crossover from the book. Benny is constantly hungry in the books. Um, and that's basically what I haven't eaten the whole for lot. months. The smell of food cooking nearby only makes it hurt worse. Okay, so let's have a look in some of these caves. What if I'm a small one? So much for the friggin' welcome wagon. Alright, so Benny's obviously not welcome in that cave. So look at this one. Impressive. Someone important must live here. Look at this guy. Okay. Have a look, can we talk to him? Who's the elder? Wita Fuma Piba. I can't understand his language, but he seems to be welcoming me to the village. Okay, so right off the bat, it's like, who are these people exactly? Um, why are they here? Are they, are they real people? I thought we were the only people. Um, one very interesting little tidbit is if you try, if you do swallow in this one. I'm in no shape to attack anyone. It kind of reads like that's kind of like you're going to eat them, as in attack them. Just listen to that one again. I'm in no shape to attack anyone. So that's what's on Benny's mind. When you want to, when you do that command, he's thinking he's going to, you know, eat the person, which is a bit sinister. Obviously tells you how hungry he is. This looks like a, what did they used to call them? Single parent household. Probably depend upon the generosity of the rest of the village. Friggin' welfare parasites. Okay, so Benny's a little bit right wing, as you might have um, grasped by that kind of that kind of comment, and you'll see that there is quite a bit of that we'll come to. Okay, let's have a chat to the mother. That son of a bitch am ripped out my vocal cords years ago. But of course we can't, can we? Okay. The boy's a friggin' mutant. There's a third arm growing out of his back. Now it's kind of weird because he's criticizing um, uh, mutants, despite the fact he is one himself. Which this woman looks half starved, just like her son. Guess they're hungry. Fat chance of getting a decent meal out of either of them. Now, have another listen to that that line there. This woman looks half. 
fat chance of getting a decent meal out of either of them. Now, depending on how you take that, can that mean that either y- y- they're not going to have any food to spare, or does that mean that you know you're going to you're considering eating them like you did when you, you know try and swallow attack the others? This okay. It's a goddamn supermarket. Okay, so there's a bunch of food back here, and there's this enormous dude here. This guard looks a lot stronger than me, but not too bright. Everyone's a lot stronger than you, Benny. Gonna take the food. I'm after food after all. Okay, so he's blondie here won't let me near the food. So he's not gonna let us near there, so we need to do something else. Okay. Let's walk to the cave mouth. We can go this way as well. A fruit tree. It's been years since I've tasted real fruit. Okay. M once coaxed me into marching across a thousand miles of ice to reach a stockpile of canned peaches, only to discover that he didn't give me a can opener. Okay, now that, if you haven't read the book, that is basically a very, very loose summary of the events of it. It's um, it's quite interesting, um, especially if you know the ending of that book. Alright, so we got a piece of fruit here, so we're going to eat a piece of fruit. Okay, so the fruit is obviously not very good for you. I would feel awfully uncomfortable eating fruit that came up this tree as well. Um, but as you can see, that's it. because we are so crippled, we can't really get to any of the other ones. It's only the one at the bottom. It's too high off the ground for me to reach. So you've basically been given a scenario where there's only one you can reach, and it's yeah, it's um the rest of it because he's crippled your legs, you can't get to. There is another way you can get to them, you just have to use this here, and you get all the fruit. Ah, mana from heaven. Okay. Ooh, hang on. Alright, got it. Yep, okay. We're gonna make in this cave. Okay, now, we're gonna give this to the little boy, because they were both very hungry. And we obviously can't eat the food. Oh, thank you for food! Okay, now, remember, like, we can't talk. So, yeah, how are we able to talk? How are we able to talk? I learned to talk using AM screen. I am smart, but villagers think smart is defective. I wish I were strong, so then they would give me food, too. Okay, so he's ostracized for being different, for being smart. And for being a mutant. And yeah. I am very like hungry. Where can I get some food? There is fruit in food cave. It comes from the trees. Okay, yeah, I tried eating the fruit, it only made me sick. I tried eating the fruit, it only made me sick. You bleed when you eat. When I was young and not so different, my mother chewed it for me first and then fed me. Okay, so some obviously double digestion that takes place here. Um because unless you have a resistance to it, it looks like you can't eat it. You look like you don't eat very much. Mother and I not allowed in food cave. Villagers are afraid of me and let me starve. Defective? That's tough. Sometimes. But I am spared lottery. Villagers are afraid of me. Okay. Yeah, lottery. What lottery? Lottery's always bad. Lottery? What lottery? Villagers hold lottery to choose sacrifices to Am. And there we have part of this scenario. Am is basically set him up as a, like a god for this village. And, um, yeah. How long have these sacrifices terrible. been going on? The sacrifice to Am machine goes on many long years. The very different must go to him soon. Not many villagers left. Okay, so there's a little bit of religious imagery with this one in that if, if you look at the, um, like particularly like the Judeo-Christian way of sacrificing, you can't sacrifice the um, the defective things. You have to have a good specimen, which is presumably why he's spared the lottery because he is a mutant and he's different. Why do they sacrifice their own people to Am? One is sacrificed, so Am does not hurt all. So again, it's a bit like more like the Aztec version of sacrifice, where they um, keep the sacrifices going so that not everyone dies. Okay, graveyard, yes. Are the victims buried in the graveyard? I know nothing about graveyard. What are these sacrifices like? The sacrifice to Am hurts very bad. 
There are better ways to die. Almost any way is better. Okay. I need to go find some food. I'll see you later. Alright, so that's got a little bit of progress. Oh yeah, he walks backwards sometimes. He does a bit of moonwalking. Um, let's go outside. Okay, now we'll use this. Use the twine. You can basically get unlimited food this way. Ah, mana from heaven. But like we tried before, you can't actually... Um, you can't actually eat it. Uh, he gave us a clue as to what to do before. You give it to this woman here. Amazing. This woman digested the food and then regurgitated it back to me, like a bird feeding its young. Okay, now you will notice that that actually made him feel better. Um, that's how that's how strong his hunger urge is, in that he um, like he, he's eating what's basically a, a poisonous substance being regurgitated out of, and particularly from someone who, as you saw from the comment before, he disdains because he thinks they're like parasites relying on everyone else. Although they're pretty clearly not in a great state. Okay. Looks like some kind of altar. Okay, so I have this little se section here. Uh, can we look around? Nothing but twisted wiring and recycled plastic. What's with the ropes on the cross beams? Looks like they're used for holding someone captive. Okay, so, um, I'm pretty sure you should be able to figure out what this is just by looking at it, but we'll um, come back to that in a little bit. Okay, now it's not too much we can do. Just quickly go back to this area. Okay, this is the graveyard. That kid didn't know about this. Are the other graves as death. <clears throat> okay, so I've got the food. Let's see, try talking to this child again. It's just that I'm there. Is that altar in the jungle used for the sacrifices? Yes. Pieces of victim are scattered around it. <sighs> I am getting very tired. You now family. You use our bed. Go sleep. Alright, so he's given us permission to use the bed, so we're going to do that. Now, interestingly, if you remember, the entire village, like, the entire... <sighs> oh, that sleep wasn't nearly long enough. Hmm, I wonder where the boy's mother went. Yeah, Benny's not too bright, despite the fact his intelligence has been restored. I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you would have figured out where the mother's gone. Um, it's interesting to note, though, that there's no real clue as to what the passage of time actually is in this because everything is underground um, so it could be a whole day it could be anything really it could be a year could be a day could be you know half an hour if there's no real way to tell the passage of time because there's no natural light um, let's have a chat to this boy now where is your mother she go to altar to help choose am sacrifice I need to go find some food. I'll see you later. Yep, so sorry kid, don't care about your mum. I'm just gonna go and get some food. Alright, so let's... The village is quiet today. Too quiet. Yep, it's probably because everyone's at the... Why is bus. everyone gathered around the altar? Natana Shama Holt! He doesn't want me to interfere with the sacrifice. Okay, so, you know, you can just ask. But remember, he doesn't have vocal cords. So that's the best you can do. Okay, so we have the lottery. Looks like some kind of lottery. That's the mutant child's mother. She got the black. It looks like she's been chosen to be sacrificed. Okay, now, <laughs> remember, Anne wants you to in, um, go and eat things. So, obviously, there's going to be parts of this scenario where you get to indulge in that if you, if you choose to. So, you have the two options here. Ask to watch or ask if you can eat her instead. Now, 
Uh, this, this is probably the easiest one in, easiest one of the scenarios in terms of figure out what you're supposed to do and what the right thing is. Because obviously you don't want to ask if you can eat her, so we're going to ask if we can watch. It's the only two options you get, unfortunately. Wita Fuma Piba. It sounds like he'll let me watch. Amvila Tajo. I am Am the Great and Powerful. Well, you didn't bring me Toto, but I accept the chosen one. You shall not feel my wrath today. Am I swell or what? Judas Priest! Am blasted her to bits! What am I going to do for food now? Again, so you can see he's very food oriented. He can't. <laughs> Uh, that was the first thing he said pretty much after his initial shock was, you know, what am I going to do now? I've got, I need to get food. But it's interesting. If you look at it, that's that's a robot. She was a robot. And so you can tell from that these are not actual, like, people. This is some kind of simulation or something that Am's, Am set up. He's put this village in order with artificial intelligence or something. Am Shaba Hoopa! The old bastard seems happy that Am has spared the village. At least until the next lottery. Okay. Watana Shinta? I just asked him for food, by I the way. I don't think he understands what I'm trying to say. Because he doesn't speak whatever you're saying. Okay, so we can look at this. There's burnt plastic and twisted metal where bits and pieces of the woman should be. So again, yeah, robot. I wonder if they're going to bury the remains. Okay, so let's leave that. Okay, so let's go to the cave. Have a talk to the kid. Okay, so I'm already here. I'm sorry. Your mother is dead. I know. Me sorry too. She only wants to care for me. Except you. Okay, so what will happen to you? What will happen to you? No food. No safe room lottery. Either way, not good. Why don't you run away from here? Bad idea to run. Villagers hunt me down, become sacrificed to Am Machine. Okay, so I can't care if you have my own problems. Uh, I'm just gonna go and. I see need some to go food. find some food. I'll see you later. Okay, so can't really do much to help him at the moment. Now, hopefully it's. Again, again, this is a pretty straightforward scenario compared to a lot of the other ones, but there is a little bit of trickery stuff. Let's work out. Are the other great? No. You left me for dead in the field. The bullet in my brain came from your gun. All right. So now these graves have started talking. Now, remember, these people died under his command, and that one just said that he is responsible for him killing. Them. So, you know, we can say, I've, I've learned to be compassionate to those who suffer. And what can I do to prove that I'm a different man? So I'm going to do the second one. What can I do to prove that I am a different man? Give us proof of your newfound empathy. Okay, so I need proof of empathy. My tour of duty was almost over. But because I knew your secret, you held my head under the paddy water until I drowned. Your secret died with me. And soon it will die with you. Okay, I've learned that individuals shouldn't be sacrificed for the sake of the group. And what can I do to prove... I'll ask the second one, because I haven't really done anything yet. What can I do to prove that I am a different man? Show us that you're able to think of someone other than yourself. Okay, so again, he wants me to be compassionate. Now, he's talking about the secret there. Now, it's unclear in this scenario what the secret is, but there are basically two possibilities. You know that he murdered Murphy, and, um, and it was basically because he, he didn't have... He didn't live up to his standard. Now, what, uh, whether that, what, exactly what that means isn't quite clear. But um, what Tuttle said there was that he had a secret. Now, the secret could have been that he murdered these other people, but also remembering this is a from a book from the 60s, and he was in the military, that Benny was also gay. So it could have been that as well. It's, so he, he could have killed him because he found out that he was, he was a gay man in the army, which, of course, back then I'm pretty sure meant you would uh, lose your job. Okay, so let's have a talk to the third grade, Thomas. I tried to help Brickman, but you'd have none of that. If you couldn't carry your own weight, then you were worth more dead than alive, and anyone willing to carry some extra weight was a liability. 
Okay, I'll ask him what I can do to help. What can I do to prove that I am a different man? Give us evidence that you have some sympathy for others. Okay, so again, this is the thing with uh, Benny, and it's, it's, a lot of it's been kind of revealed there, in that he, um, apparently, anyone who was kind of holding up the group, he basically, um, he basically would kill. So he, 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 um, he would just get rid of them that way, rather than um, kind of help help the entire group or let other pe even let other people help. As, as soon as they were a liability, they were you know gone for Benny. So he had no compassion for those who could not um, couldn't keep up. Now this is relevant to Benny's scenario because as you can see, he's basically um, for starters, he is a liability now. He can't he can barely eat on his own. He can't walk properly. He can't talk. So he has to rely on other th other people, which is exactly the kind of thing which he um, punished people for in his past life. And to add it to that, the person we have to help is this mutant kid who's been ostracized by everyone else. So it's kind of, again, a bit of a twisted reflection on what he was doing in his previous life. So I'll talk to him again. I need to go find some food. I'll see you later. Okay. So, um, let's go back here. Now, so obviously we need to try and stop this lottery because the kid is going to be in a lot of trouble. Um, as he said, he's, his mum's not there to protect him anymore. Looks like it's empty. Okay. Now, this is a very interesting little bit of um, dialogue. So I'm going to look at the cradle. Looks like a primitive cradle. It's empty. I wonder where the baby is. Jesus, I'm hungry. Yeah, so just have a think about that. It's um, really, really quite dark. Um, yeah, I don't even know what to say about that. Oh, one other little thing as well. Uh, to just to give you a bit of uh, insight into Benny's character. If you go to the food cave and look at these markings. Primitive. These people are even more backwards than those gooks in Southeast Asia. Okay, so yeah, Benny's obviously quite racist. Um... Yeah. Alright, well... I'm gonna go and use... Hang on. Use the screen. Damn it! I can't use this vi- Okay, that's alright. I'll just go back to the um, leader's cave. Not the ladder. Okay. There's a video screen. Use that one? Speaking in the third person, Am, which is I, Am is satisfied with the sacrifice. He, that is to say I, will spare the village, his, that is to say my, wrath for today. I have, as I said before, spoken. Right, so yeah, Am is really enjoying being a god of this village, as you can tell by that incredibly cringy little bit of dialogue. Alright, so I'm going to... Um, Go to bed. That's, uh, I think, all we can do for today. And again, remember, this might not be full days. These might be more than full days. It's impossible to tell. The no boy's still life. here. I wonder when the next sacrifice will be. Good question. Okay, let's have a chat to him. Okay. I need to go find... That's alright, you can't tell me anything yet. Okay, so walk to the cave mouth. Uh, leader's cave... Elders the village cave. elder must be out gathering food. Okay, so look at the screen. There's a video. Sorry, use the screen. Gather the villagers at the altar tomorrow to choose a sacrifice, or suffer the wrath of Am. Okay, so there you go. Sacrifices again tomorrow. So there's one yesterday. There's one today. Okay, so I've taken the lottery bag so I can stop the lottery. And um, so that's that's hopefully saved the, um, the little kid, because uh, remember he said without his mum to protect him, he would um, he would be chosen. Okay, so yep. Am wants to have a sacrifice tomorrow, even with the lottery bag missing. Why don't you hide in the hole, just in case? I afraid of hole. Need friend to hide with. You too big to go in hole. All my friends are far away from here or dead. I have no friends to hide with you. Me good idea. I make friend and then I hide. You help me. 
What can I do to help you make a friend? I need head for friend. I'll see what I can find. Okay, now this kid, again, Benny's helping him with his own problems, which in Benny's old mind, he should be the one responsible to, to deal with all of this himself, regardless of you know what condition he's in. Um, but this is the new Benny, who's not going to do what Am says, so we're going to make him a body. Now he wanted a head, and this bit's incredibly messed up. Um, the head we use is... Here's an interesting piece of junk. This is Mother's head from the sacrifice the other day. Funny. I had lost interest in anything that wasn't edible until I met the boy. Okay, so this boy is basically teaching him compassion by proxy. Um, Alright, so now we can give him the, this thing. Give him the junk. I don't think he understands what I'm trying to say. Okay, I'll talk to him. Alright, hang on. Here we go. I found this piece of junk at the altar. It looks kind of like a head. Yeah, it's your mother's head. Thank you. I can use this to make doll's head. Okay, so he's gonna make a doll. Okay, so what does he need? What else do you need to make a friend? I need body for friend. Okay, so I'll see what I can find. I'll see what I can find. Alright, there we go. Now, this is a this is very adventure gamey. So I'll just go. You need to get the um. Ah. You need to get the fruit here. <clears throat> you need to go to the cave. Give him the fruit. I think he wants me to put my fruit into a basket. Okay, so we go through. Uh, okay, now there is wood here, so we need to take the wood. I know someone who might like a piece of polished wood. Okay, now we give the fruit to the... Oh, where's the fruit basket? Can I just go? What gives? He won't let me leave. Yeah, because you haven't given the fruit. Uh, just move a little bit out of the way, Benny. Okay, use the fruit with... There we go. Okay, okay, here's another piece of fruit to add to the collection, as if they need it anymore. I can't eat it anyway. That's a good point. Okay, now he'll let us leave. Alright, now... Give this him... is the cave where the bo... Oh, sorry, walk to. We give the body for the doll to the boy. Okay, I found a piece of wood. I found a piece of wood that could be used for a body. Thank you! I can use this to make doll's body. Okay, what else do you need? What else do you need to make a friend? I need to tie head to body. Okay, so we need some wire. I'll see what I can find. Okay, and that's the last thing we need to do. I don't know exactly which cave. I think it's this cave, but I'll, I'll just check. Uh, okay, fine. Let's take... There's a loose wire among these vines. Now, yeah, keep, keep taking note of that, because there's wire in the vines. Remember, because... We've already established that the people here are not actual creatures, they're robots. And so you can kind of think that, is all of this artificial? Um, and I personally think it is, because I don't think Am's capable of creating new life forms or things like that. Okay, so let's have a chat to him. Talk to the child. Okay, I found a wire. piece of wire. Thank you for help with doll. Me go play in hole. Okay. So that's that's good. We've got him. He'll be safe for the lottery tomorrow. Um, but just the whole thing about making him a doll out of his, you know, his pets, like like a, out of his mum's head, it's really messed up. Anyway, so we've gone to a lot of help to um, do that. So we'll see if we've done these ones. Okay, I have the lottery bag. I have the lottery bag. No more villagers will be sacrificed. Hmm. Show the lottery bag to Thomas. Okay, so give lottery bag to Thomas. I can't bury this. The ground's too hard. Okay, can I talk to Thomas? Okay. I have the lottery bag. No more villagers will be sacrificed. You proved that you're capable of caring for others, and that's worth something. Place the lottery bag into the earth. We will guard it. We forgive you for what you've done to us, but 
we can't speak for your most tragic victim. Brickman's grave is under those vines. Okay, so we've buried, the, buried it, and he just told us that there's another grave under these ones. Use the vines. Here it is. Brickman's grave. Do we have another guy here? Hello, Commander. I'm not exactly happy to see you again. I last saw your face just before I got it right between the eyes. Okay. I don't blame you for hating me, Brickman. You don't blame me? You did this to me. You murdered me because I didn't measure up to your standards. Then you killed the witnesses. Okay, so you can kind of tell this is again going back to, is it because they were just holding everyone back? Or is it because, you know, he was a partner with Brickman and the others knew about it. So he killed, he killed them to stop the secret getting out. It's um, kind of unclear, but e either one works quite well with the psychodrama. Also interesting to note, uh, just remember that um, uh, Benny can't talk. So he's somehow communicating with these telepathically. Like they can understand him despite the fact he's not actually making any audible sound. Just an interesting little side note for that, for these little things. I stopped the lottery from happening. Doesn't that prove I now have compassion? You might have changed for the present, Commander, but you still have crimes in the past to account for. What can I do to make amends to you, Brickman? You have to bury the past, Commander. Okay, so I need to bury the past. What can I do to make amends to you, Brickman? You have to bury the past, Commander. Okay. You talking to these guys again? We're behind you all the way, Commander. These men never supported me like this under my old command. It's interesting to note those kind of things. This is Tuttle's. Oop, he to lost you. his. He lost his life. We're rooting killed him. for you, Commander. These men never supported me like. Okay. The village elder must be out looking for his lottery bag. Okay. Okay, I'll just quickly try something. Ah, mana from heaven. I can't bury this. The ground's too hard. I have something to plant on your grave. At last, some compassion. Now I can finally rest in peace. Okay, so that bugged out for a bit, and then might, there's probably a little bit of a skip in the animation. Um, it bugged out and the quest sequence didn't work properly, so I couldn't actually plant that flower, which is something you need to do. So, that should be all the way done. Alright, so we've atoned for the past, and we've um, shown everyone that we have the um, we have compassion for others. Um, particularly in this case, compassion for those who are not quite as well. Okay, so the kid's in the hole, and uh, it's going to be tomorrow. I don't think there's anything else we can do. So let's use the bed and wait until tomorrow. I wonder how the boy is doing in that hole. How is he doing? The boy's gone. The villagers must have found him. So, not good. Let's go to... This place, and you can see they put him up there. Natana Shama Holt! He doesn't want me to interfere with the sacrifice. Okay, so... Yep. Okay, so we can ask why everyone is gathered around the altar. Ask where you can find some food you can eat or end the conversation. So obviously, again, this is the one that Anne wants us to do. That's why he put us here. So I'll just ask this question. Damn! 
M must have told the villagers where I hid the lottery bag and the boy. Because M sees all. Okay, so I'm going to try and plead with them to release him. Latana Shama Holt! They're going to sacrifice the boy unless I think of something quick. Okay, so, alright. So, ask if you can eat the boy instead. Yeah, that's not the good option there. Um, threaten the village elder into releasing the boy. Offer to take the child's place. So this is again showing compassion for those. Hmm. The elder seems amazed that I would show compassion to the boy, but I think he's going to go for it. And there's the white background, which means you did it perfectly. Now, did Why, you take? Did you see that? The boy's giving me his doll. Third arm gratitude for being Benny's spared the pain of being sacrificed. No, more than gratitude, compassion for me. So he's a mutant as well. So Benny has the same mutation that that little kid does. <laughs> I send you out among the prey, and instead of indulging your hunger to keep me amused. You show them compassion! You should know better by now. Your reward will be more years of searing, blistering anguish, Benny. Okay. Who among you shall go next? So that's Benny, the good run done and dusted, and I'll be back with the, um, the not-so-good Benny run, where you try and eat everything in sight. Always good fun. Alright, hope you've enjoyed that. Um, and um, hope you enjoy that quite little interesting story that Benny has. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.